Hello everybody, this is your back and buddy Pratik Mota. So today I will try to explain you concept of Golang interface. So how we can implement a Golang interface uh, with the practical example. So I will explain you in the detail with the example of shape. So let's say uh, there are triangle, rectangle, circle, different type of shapes are available. So we will try to implement a shape interface and uh, try to understand how we can implement interface in the Golang. So let's learn. So here is example of shape interface. So in the shape, let's say there is a circle shape is there and there is a different shape like rectangle is there. So right now we are taking these two shapes. So now just assume like if you want to calculate area of each shape, then like for the circle, it is a pi r square. And for the rectangle, it will be a width multiplied by height will be there. So logic of calculating area is completely different. So now um, if you want to create a one single interface function uh, and in that function, we pass a object of circle, then it will give us circles uh, logic and calculate the area. And if we pass rectangle, then it will calculate for the rectangle. So for implementing that, uh, I will show you how we can implement this uh, shape interface in the Golang. First, uh, we have to declare uh, interface. So type, then name of interface, and then interface. And inside that, we have to add the functions which we want to add into the interface. So for example, we are adding here area and float64 uh, is a written type of area. So we have created one interface. Now, uh, for these two shapes like circle and the rectangle, we are creating uh, two different structures. So type rectangle uh, struct which contain width and height, its parameter and circle structure which contain a radius uh, parameter. So these are the two structure of the, this two shape. Now next is uh, we will create our func main and inside the func uh, we have created two different objects. One uh, is for re uh, rectangle and one is for the circle. So rectangle contain width 3 and height 4 and circle contain radius 5. So now uh, we want a print area single functions which uh, if we pass object of rectangle then it will give or print the area of the rectangle and if we pass object of this circle then it will print uh, area of that particular circle for that uh, we created two different area functions so whatever functions we have created in the interface shape so we that functions we have to create so for the area and we have to give here rectangle uh, r rect and for the c circle so for this uh, similar signature functions area float 64 we created for the rectangle and the circle and we have separately added the logic of the rectangle and the circle. So for the rectangle we added uh, width multiplied by height and for the circle it will be pi r multiplied by r so pi r square. So for adding pi we have to uh, add the math package so here we are importing this thing. Now we will create a print area function which will call uh, area function of particular rectangle or circle based on whatever objects we are here passing. So for that print area its uh, arguments is a shape interface object so data type is so if you see here shape interface which contain the area function so we are passing here assets shape okay. Now uh, if you take a look uh, then here uh, we are printing it and uh, we are calling sh.area okay so now if you pass a rectangle then sh.area will call uh, area of the rectangle and if you pass c like a circle then it will uh, automatically call the circle area function so if you see the output if you run go run main.go then uh, first for the rectangle it will print 3 4 and area is 12 and for circle uh, if radius is 5 then it will print uh, area as a 78.5 
so this is the main concept of the interface now what is benefit like uh, uh, if you want to collect all the shapes let's say circle rectangle triangle into the single slice then you can use a particular interface type uh, to collect all that things also so this was the example of uh, interface in the golang so if you have any doubt or any suggestions then please write in the comment box so i will check and uh, reply to you as soon as possible so thank you very much